All right, I am here with Amy Olson at the ShopRite LPGA Classic. Welcome, and we're happy to have you here this week. Thank you. Happy to be here. First of all, we'll start off with saying congratulations. This is the second tournament um, since you announced your pregnancy. Um, what has it been like returning um, after your announcement? What's it been like playing after your announcement? Yeah, I, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, obviously, I've been out here for 10 years, so I have a ton of friends, and um, everybody's just so excited. and definitely get a little bit more attention <laughs> we'll say that than a normal week um, but it's been good you know it's been a different year for me I haven't played nearly as much and so um, just being at home a lot more and trying to stay motivated and competitive while your body's changing a ton and not exactly knowing like what tournaments I'm, I was going to be in um, now it's getting a little bit more clear so that's that's helpful and what what has your how has your practice changed how has it changed taking care of yourself too while while playing yeah like workouts have changed a little bit there's certain exercises where i noticed okay we got to adjust that we got to do something a little bit different um, but my biggest thing is like there's less changes day to day than week to week so trying to stay active and trying to just like continue to swing every single day so that there's not like a long gap between when i play and then i'm like oh, I'm 10 pounds heavier than last time, and that's a lot harder to turn. So definitely, like, just trying to be consistent has been my, my probably, my, my strategy. And then you mentioned, too, you have a lot of friends out here, a lot of other LPGA moms out on the course. Um, have you received any advice? Oh, yes, and I was texting, like, everybody immediately, okay, how long did you play till? Like, what week? Everybody's a little bit different, so, but it was nice to just have a range and kind of an idea of, like, what's possible obviously it being my first time just have no concept so I've definitely been picking everybody's brain who's done it before and just like any advice they have I'm soaking it up yes. absolutely and then we'll go to the zoom too if anyone has any questions right now Amy um for players with limited starts, how important is the economic opportunity of playing their way into a tournament like the U.S. Women's Open with such a large purse? Yeah, I mean, that's huge. And especially, I mean, this year was a little different. Like, I got into Hawaii and was able to make the cut, reshuffle, but, like, I still was 176 on the priority list. So, um, you know, there's still tournaments I didn't get into, like, last week. And so qualifying for the U.S. Women's Open and just having the opportunity to play there is definitely huge. Um, and, you know, the economics is, is one thing, but honestly, just like momentum and being able to stay competitive, like having, like as athletes, you just want to play. So, I mean, that's definitely one of the things I'm looking forward to the most. How did you react to the news yesterday of the PGA Tour, PIF, and DP World Tour all merging together? I'm going to try to like do my best face. It was like... <laughs> honestly just very shocked um definitely didn't see that one coming and it'll be interesting to see what happens all right if there's n are there any more other questions on the zoom yes me hi hey beth ann <laughs> hi amy um congratulations on all kinds of fronts thank you um, <laughs> what what's your history at Pebble Beach um, in terms of have you been there before? <laughs> yeah, I've never played the course um, unless on the simulator counts. I did play it this last winter <laughs> on the sim um, <laughs> at Fargo Country Club. <laughs> um, so I think it'll be a little bit different in real, but I've been out there. I've been like, I think uh, in college we stopped by there one time and I think at one point on tour I stopped by as well and just like kind of wandered down to the 18th green just to kind of experience the atmosphere but I've really never been out on the course that much so I mean obviously it's it's an historical week it's going to be by all accounts epic <laughs> what is what is the extra amount of I don't know can you put into words what it means that you'll have this special moment carrying your child with you that you'll be able to look back on you know, as, as the fact that, you know, the two of you took part in this. Yeah. I mean, I think that's one of those things that like, even just over time, it'll grow and just become even more special, but it's certainly one of those memories that I'll, I'll talk about, you know, forever. And the fact that it's at Pebble is really cool. And just the fact that there's gonna be two of us walking down the fairway together. Um, that's pretty awesome. 
And then what are your future plans? Um, do you do you think you'll be a mom playing on tour? I mean, how much have you, I mean, I don't know, how, how will you make that decision? Yeah, I mean, the way I've kind of approached it is honestly, I've never had more than one year of status out here in my entire life. So everything's always been year by year. Like I know what I'm gonna do this year. Um, so I can tell you this year I'm playing through Pebble and then I won't be out the rest of the year and then come next year I'll make another decision. Um, so truly I like, I, I, I couldn't tell you either way. I wanna see how it goes. I have been super, super blessed and thankful for everything I've been able to do out here. Um, and I love it and I think I probably will never do what I've done over the last nine years of playing, you know, 25 weeks out of the year. But will I ever come out again? Couldn't tell you. Not sure. Okay, just a couple quick more. Who do you think is going to be with you that week? How many tickets are you requesting? What? what will, cause it's kind of a swan song for a little while, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I know my parents are going to be out there, my brother, his wife, uh, my husband, and then his mom. So we're going to have like kind of all of the family out, which will be great. I think there's probably a couple other family members that will make their way out there. Um, even just some like local media from Fargo is going to gonna definitely be out and covering it. So um, no, it'll be really special. I'm not really sure total, total numbers, but everybody that's there and is a part of it, um, yeah, it'll be really cool to share it with them. And then one final thing, piggybacking on Kent's question, how, how do you think the news of yesterday will impact the women's game going forward? Honestly, no idea. Um, I, I think that only time is going to tell. Um, there's, there's just no way to know. I mean, it was such a shocking thing yesterday, and so who knows what, what the next curveball is. Thank you very much. And then one final question on my end. Um, how, how excited are you for this week? What are your goals? And, and how are you kind of looking to use this week to prepare for the, the Women's Open? Yeah, I mean, every, every chance that I get to play, I feel especially grateful for, I think, this year. Um, and so for me, it's been hard to stay motivated practicing when I don't know what my next tournament is. Or, um, and so it was really nice. I mean, just even playing the qualifier and shooting six under was just such a um, confidence boost and, and motivation for me that like, okay, I'm still doing the right thing. Um, Cause when you're practicing and you don't get to test it, sometimes you're wondering like, am I still on track? Um, so to me, it's just, again, gonna be um, just verification that I'm, that I'm doing the right thing. And, and if there's something that's off, then you kind of use that as a learning experience and try to make some adjustments next week. Awesome, thank you so much. Best of luck this week. Thank you.